Hey, gorgeous people of the internet, this is my new show. I've had a complete rebrand, really to help along with my 360 live fitness show on YouTube. And I'm using a different server, so we've got different partners for the podcast. It's all really, really exciting and it's it's going really, really smoothly so far, although it's taken, I suppose, a, a bit more than a week. And that's meant I haven't done any podcasts. So it's so really lovely to be back again, actually. And I I do miss talking um, randomly to strangers on the Internet. It really lights my candle. So um, welcome to the new show. It's called Serverland Music. It's primarily a music show because primarily I'm a, I'm a musician. Of course, I'm also an artist and I do a lot of paintings and we've got a shop. Uh, Tale Teller Club is the band that I'm in. I'm the cellist the pianist and composer and occasional lyricist um, or should I say occasional backing vocals as well um, so you know it's it, we've got a team of people who use a lot of technology to create electronica electronic music and I really wanted to revamp the podcast so it reflected that but do not despair because there will be still lots of stories um Stories for adults rather than stories for kids. I don't think kids are my market. Um, some of my artwork, especially, is a little bit risque. So I thought, well, no, let's make it an over 18s thing. And it just makes everything a bit easier, I think, if everybody knows where they stand. So um, the music is just electronic dance music and it's all about rhythm. And I work with Beats Ministry, who's who do all the drums and it's sometimes we use four drum tracks on on one single um you know a release it, it, once you know drums electronic drums you can kind of hear them but normally people just think wow that's really touching something in me and this is what rhythm does of course this is why i love the drums so much because rhythm is uh, roots you to the the earth's core in my opinion anyway welcome to the new show serverland music i'll get this up in a minute Just to tell you, actually, a couple of things. My new show on YouTube, um, on well, it's an old show, 60 Summers, but it's also being revamped because now I'm using 360 GoPro. uh, Very short lessons on Suzuki piano, Suzuki cello, and my Keep Fit, 60 Summers Keep Fit, which is all about being your best fitness Um, person really when you're a musician you have to be really fit people don't realize that actually you know I'm a cellist and you need to have a strong core your balance needs to be really good you need to have quite good arm muscles believe it or not because sometimes I'll play for six hours you know and I've had my arms up in that position with my bow and my cello for all that time and to you have to be quite strong you need you know, to be quite robust. So for me as a musician, the most important thing about fitness is that I can play my instruments endlessly. Um, There's never a moment when I'm not thinking about music or when, you know, I've got a grand piano and every time I walk past it, I practice a scale, for example, and I've got my cello. Actually, sad news, (laughs) the other day, my G-string went. And that's not what you think, guys. The G-string on the cello went and... It, it's all impossible to play, absolutely impossible, because when you're so finely tuned and, and your intonation becomes improved, which it does after about six, seven, eight years of playing the cello, the deadness of a string is like dying. <laughs> and what happens is the string somehow absorbs the energy from your bow, your fingers, and doesn't reproduce a beautiful, vibrating tone and it's impossible to play do you know what I'm going to do today though I'm going to play without my g-string and um, I know it sounds funny doesn't it but I can play all the notes that I would normally get on my g-string on other strings so um, I'm going to try that today I'm going to see if that works Uh, just as an experiment not you know you wouldn't want to get used to that so I ordered my strings from String Zone, my company in the UK, who I'm very happy with. But the other thing is I, I went for a, a high tension. So 
I've got a high tension G string, which is probably what I'll call this episode because it's uh, slightly amusing, isn't it? And I'm really, really excited, but I'm waiting. We had a, a postal strike yesterday here in the UK. We've got a lot, lot of strikes going on because of the cost of living here. But I see in America the cost of living has also rocketed. So I guess, you know, when I talk about those things from the UK, you guys in America, I know most of my audience are from America, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And it's going to be a difficult winter for everyone because... You know, that filters down. Well, not for the very rich. And I'm sure Elon Musk is, um, you know, not uh, suffering any sleepless nights. Um, But everything has to uh, acclimatise to a sort of new way of spending, entertainment, learning, and what have you. So I'm going to spend a winter, it's winter here in the UK, I'm going to spend the winter hibernating in my four-poster bed. And I'll be doing, I'll get up to... (laughs) Honestly, I'll get up. After two coffees, I'll rise and I'll I'll be doing my fitness show. Very, very uh, relaxed fitness with stretch aside. So we'll be doing lots of stretches for musicians and people over over 60. So people who, I mean, I do ballet as well, but I've had to stop my ballet for a bit due to an injury. But we'll be talking about some ballet as well and how useful it is and and just some you know just standing on tiptoes and swinging your arms about a bit and things like that really really helps get the blood going and that's really important if you're like me and you spend a lot of time in your four post to bed so i'm going to be doing that but i'll be filming a lot of the shows and they're on my youtube so you can pop along to youtube um and if you go to 60 summers you'll find me on that channel and the, we've got a few channels actually. There's a mobile TV 360 as well, but that, that's yes, less sort of used. But you you might find me there. Um, I mean, actually, I'm all over the internet. But uh, it's Tale Teller Club rather than Serverland. Um, Tale Teller Club is quite famous actually, and we've released a lot of tracks, a lot of music. Um, so I'm going to go now, and I'll get this up. It's an introduction, really, to what's going to happen from now on and, and the changes that we've had um, at the Telltale Club and how we're, how we're sharing the dream. And the dream is actually about the wonder of music and how music takes you to a much higher place. And um, music and art creates a, a person as a superior individual because actually, you know, animals... Uh, don't appreciate music and art. I mean, they listen to sound. Birds listen to sound. So I suppose they have some sort of sense of musicality. But it's much more about um, asserting their authority and and taking control of their areas, you know, their branch or their twig, (laughs) isn't it? But music and art can really take us to a superior level. And I really, truly believe that. And it's so important, I think, that we don't lose sight of art and music when, you know, we're anxious or other things have taken over, you know, worry and stress. Because music is cheap. Honestly, it's really, really cheap. And there are, I mean, creating it might be a little bit more expensive because you've got to buy an instrument. But actually, I, on my Suzuki shows, you could probably pick up a, a children's piano and start on that, you know, from the thrift store. Um, and I hope, if you're listening to this, that you have access to a thrift store because I love a thrift store. It's quite an exciting day when I'm going thrift shopping. I'm doing it today, actually. I'm meeting my mum, and my mum's nearly 80, and she loves thrift stores. She absolutely loves a good rummage, and she buys things to make her happy and never wears them <laughs> because the joy is in the initial purchase. The the joy, as soon as you get home, is, is done, I'm afraid. You, you do have to be a bit careful, otherwise you end up being a hoarder. I tell her, actually, that she's a hoarder. And um, she thinks about it for a bit, and she says, yes, I probably am. Um, she hides stuff. She hides stuff in cupboards. Glo- she calls it the glory hole, actually, the, her, her cupboard. And she'll look at me and she'll say, I really need to, to tidy that cupboard up. And I look at her and I just shake my head and say, no, I'm not doing it. Because it's an out of my job description, mum. <laughs> so there we go. Anyway, do join me at some point today. Music shows later. I'm going to try and get some DJs to do some electronic sets for me um, for the show. And 
some other stuff i mean interviews if you want if you're a musician you'd like to be interviewed why not um give me the heads up i've got a patreon as well but i won't plug that here because it's very new and i i don't really understand how it all works just yet um so yeah uh look pop over to the telltale club uh, join the forum connect with me chat and um you can message me on there i've got a message uh stream thing it's a bit like a a chat well it is it's a chat box so you can message me there but if you're a musician and you'd like to be interviewed for this show i am more than happy um especially if you don't live in in london you know uh somebody from overseas is to me much more interesting because it's a bit more it's much more inaccessible especially if you're a live musician you know when when would i get to see live music in america india germany especially this winter i'm not going anywhere darlings i'm staying in the warm um so uh, actually another thing about um the, the you know the energy rocketing energy prices i mean we're all really horrified by that in in the united kingdom because we our most of our houses aren't insulated and i wonder if you guys feel that too or or if you have another problem with rising energy because of course it, you know we all need gas um we live in a society which is so dependent on it um so i hope i hope you're not too depressed about um the the rise of the cost of living or being chilly this winter but i'll tell you what go to the thrift shop buy a big jumper that i'm doing this afternoon and um I, honestly that's the the truth i'm going to buy big jumpers to get me through the winter um and listen to my podcast the a lot of them are free some are available extra podcasts are available to um, subscribers but most of them are free and you know stick your headphones in while you're jogging listen to what we've got to say and, and have a chat and let's feel connected guys okay <laughs>